Good evening, YouTube. Here is a work in progress. This is a Ward's 12 inch window fan with a Redmond motor. I have pulled this fan out of a junk pile um, at an old abandoned farm that was under demolition. The guy on the demolition crew called me and said there's a bunch of fans up there, so I went up there. This is, oh, not quite a year ago. It was last summer, I believe. It was warm weather out. So I found a bunch of fans up there. This is one of them. And I brought them back, and I'm just now getting to this one. This one here was very dirty inside. It's all rusty, and I've already started taking it apart. And um, the wiring was bad. It was showing bare wires. There, right there at the grommet where it where it goes inside the the cabinet. So anyway, and the motor was very stiff. I cannot, as you can see here, I don't know how well you can see it. I have been soaking it in oil for several days now, but that set screw will not break loose, and I finally just twisted off my allen bit and they're trying to get it loose so i'm probably gonna have to drill it out to get the blades off so i can get in and clean the motor but i did get the motor broke loose it spins free you gotta consider this fan has not run in almost 40 years so i took it apart there's the shroud that goes on the front of it There's the back of it. I took the chrome strips off there, right here, because it's definitely going to need a new paint job and a good sandblasting, and um, it definitely needs some work. So, um, anyway, here it is. Normally it's a two-speed, but because I have it all taken apart and wired up directly, um, it's only running on high speed because I have the speed coil taken out of it right at the moment. It's rated for 1.2 amps. It's drawing 1.22. Well, it kind of fluctuates a little bit. But that is not bad for a fan that has set for 40 years to not run and was very stiff. About, that fluctuates a little bit, but between about 94 watts, running on 122 volts, 60 cycles. I've let it run for about an hour after I got it all oiled up. I still need to take the motor apart and so I can clean up the clean up the stator and the clean the bearings and the shaft and 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 paint it. And I need to paint the blades too. Like I say, it still needs a lot of work before it's ready for use, but it has come a long ways. For those of you who like to hear the startup sounds, I'm going to turn it back on again. I just have to be careful where I aim it because I do have a lot of things that will blow away if, if I have it blow in the wrong direction. Whoa, almost knocked it over there. This thing is so powerful it will move itself across the workbench. It's a 
all steel construction, heavy duty. This thing's a tank. One thing for sure, they don't make them like this anymore. So anyway, stay tuned. Um, I will do another video of this fan when I get it all painted and reassembled and, and get it back to where it should be. Like and subscribe and thanks for watching.